Hi, my name is Liv Sasaki, and I am the Executive Director of the American Heart Association in Utah. I am here with Dr. Diana Mello, who is an interventional cardiologist at Intermountain Health. Thank you for being here with us to talk about heart attack in women. It's my pleasure. Thank you for having me. Can you tell us what is a heart attack? Yeah, so a heart attack is a condition where blood flow is limited to your heart muscle. And what causes one? So traditionally, it's been caused by um, plaque buildup or coronary artery disease. And by plaque, I mean a um, collection of cholesterol, inflammatory markers, white blood cells, and calcium that can build up in your arteries over time. And it stops the blood from flowing mm -hmm. to your heart. Okay. And when a heart attack happens, uh, it ruptures and it forms a clot. To, uh, and that clot is what stops the blood flow okay. to the, your heart. What kind of symptoms do you traditionally see in men and women who are experiencing a heart attack? Yeah, so a heart attack um, can present with chest pain. We call it substernal chest pain that feels like a, a dull pressure. Um, it starts in the middle of your chest towards your left and it can radiate to your jaw or your arm. And one of the biggest clues is that activities will make it worse. What about symptoms specific to women? Women can also present with those classic symptoms, and often they do. But what's interesting about women is that they also present with more subtle symptoms. They, so they can also present with uh, indigestion, nausea, uh, vomiting. They can present with back pain, even just fatigue. Mm -hmm. Or like might mistake it for the flu. Right. Okay. Yeah. So those symptoms can be mistaken for anxiety. It could be mistaken for the flu. It's not those classic symptoms that we often think of. Why does all of that matter? Yeah. So the reason it matters is because heart disease, especially heart attacks, are still the number one killers for both men and women. And unfortunately, 50% um, of the time, women that present to the hospital get misdiagnosed it gets brushed off as anxiety or something different because it's not that classic presentation. Yeah, that's a lot of women, half of the women that come in. Um, can you tell us a little bit more about an adult woman of any age? Can they have a heart attack? Yeah, so age is definitely a risk factor. So the older that we are, the more likely you are to have a heart attack. Um, but heart attacks can present in women of all ages. In fact, I recently had a patient who is only 42 who came in with a heart attack. Um, and what's interesting is that for these younger women, it's not that classic uh, plaque buildup that is causing the heart attacks, but it's something other than that. Are there other conditions that you're seeing outside of that that are leading to why women are having more heart attacks? Yeah, so for women, um, we're actually seeing an increased uh, presentation of something called SCAD, or um, spontaneous coronary artery disease, where there's injury to the, to the blood vessels that happens, uh, and that limits blood flow. Can you tell us if a woman experiences a heart attack, you know, can she experience another one? Yeah, so once you have a heart attack, you are more likely to have another heart attack. Um, and that is where prevention or um, what we call secondary prevention is really important. Once you have a heart attack, it's going to be really important for you to make sure that your blood pressure is well controlled, that your cholesterol is below those limits that, that we target, um, and that you really focus on diet and exercise. Yeah. So all the things pre-heart attack and if somewhere to have it is even more important. 100%. Yes, 100%. So all of those things are great for prevention. And then once you have a heart attack, they're going to be even more important. How can we as women better advocate for ourselves and our heart health? Yeah, so I think women are really good about advocating for others. Um, we're really great when it comes to reminding or, or nudging our children and our husbands, but we're not that great at about advocating for ourselves. So I think what we need is to bring somebody with us to those clinic appointments and to the hospital that can be that advocate. Yeah, that's so important. Um, and because we know it could happen at any age, you know, giving women the tools and the resources to know, you know, what to talk to their provider sounds yeah. really important. Yeah, yeah. I think it's very important to make sure that, uh, write, to write down your questions and make sure that you, those questions are being answered by your doctor, that we're mindful of that of the potential um, presentation for heart attack, especially in women. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, thank you for spending time with us today to talk about heart attacking women. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much.